Well, as we all know, of course, with the coronavirus pandemic comes business closures, but even businesses that are allowed to remain open, well, they're still struggling. Brian Hoffman spoke to a few local businesses who are trying to keep their shops open while most doors are being closed. More online sales, um, and uh, we are um, taking advantage of uh, being mobile on, in some cases which is uh, going to a customer's location. With the unemployment numbers rising, more and more people are having to save money and cut back on expenditures. Daryl Lorenzo himself had to lay off some of his staff to keep costs down, but hopes that once things return to some type of normalcy, he'll bring his crew back to work. According to a new survey from the Main Street America, 7.5 million small businesses will shut down permanently if business continues to decline due to the coronavirus. As for restaurants, places like La Cucina are also seeing reduced business, even with the ability to do takeout orders or deliveries. We found that our business has probably gone down about 50 percent, but that's enabled us to help pay the bills, at least doing takeout. Castaneri says that even with that income, the restaurant is still losing money during the pandemic. But for Aaron Foster, who opened up food and drink just this year, it's been especially rough because of the rules when it comes to business loans. He says that one of the biggest struggles during this time, especially being located in Midtown, is rent. I mean, I could pay you five grand my rent once, but then I'm going to be out of business. Foster and his parents still do curbside delivery, but with bills piling up and business down, he doesn't know how much longer he can survive if things don't turn around. I take it uh, week by week, Sunday nights we close and I kind of think about it. Do I want to do this for another week? All right, so far the answer is yes. Um, I'm pretty resigned to the fact that, you know, reasonable chance I'll, I'll lose the restaurant. Um, but for now I'm fighting and, and uh, you know, trying to make good food. Covering the story, Brian Hoffman, 2 News.